smells a little. We Hi. Live. Hi. H I G H. And H I. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we fix things? Yes. Give me one second. single time. Can they see your password? Your no, they can't see anything. This is what they see. They just see us. So they hear, yep, they hear the uh, lo-fi music in the background. The crickets. Here we go. Paradigm. Hopefully OBS will fix that. Um, cool. Did you, you made a link and everything? Mm -hmm. You let the entirety of our second paradigm know? Yes. <laughs> Here. Oh, that's cute. Numbers. When did we take that? And then um, yeah, we were out filming a vlog. That we never did anything okay. with. Okay. So yeah, then we are live and we are here. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hello. Very cool. Announce yourself. We are good to go. I would like uh, to know who's here. No one. <laughs> <laughs> Story of our life. <laughs> no one. <laughs> Yeah, what do you mean fix it? Like, you want it down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're like this? Yeah. Like a little closer and then or something? A little closer. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Is that your coffee? This Songs one, guess, one's of the tall. trees. <laughs> Hi, Joe. <laughs> Knew it was you. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, good. Our chat mm -hmm. is working again. Wait. She's here for a bit. Yes. Oh, Gravy Tulips is here they for a bit. They all say anonymous, though. That's so oh, weird. that's funny. It doesn't make sense. Hi, Sarah. Oh, did I ever show you Sarah's Groovy Tulips? Oh, God. <laughs> um, does no. That, does that sound inappropriate? That was, that was private. <laughs> Hi, Emily. Hello. Emily, welcome Emily. in. Good to see ya. Wait, let's... She sent me pictures, and I thought they were cool. Okay. Oh, that's called the grooviest tulip. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cute. Aren't those cool? Are you going to show? Yeah. Show chat? See, that's one. <laughs> and here's the other. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And that's how I hide my camera. <laughs> With a piece of electrical tape. <laughs> but I have it slightly bent at the corner so I can peel it back. For Face ID. No, I don't use Face ID. Mm, well, that used to be the way you... I know, but back. I stopped using Face ID and I don't have a password on my phone anymore. That's pretty good. It's just easier. There's yeah. no need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't show oh, just my anyone my groovy now. tulips. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's a positive Oh my trait. God, I'm famous now. Yes. <laughs> the whole world knows. <laughs> Joe, awesome. Emily, and yourself. <laughs> I wonder why everyone's anonymous. Everyone's anonymous. Yeah, that's so odd to me. Whew. It's a um, the it's a thing. So, what are we going to talk about today? I don't know. I mean, we could play some games. Yeah. And get warmed up, but it's more of a wind down. Thing, yeah, right? it's not a warm up thing. I know. This is our time to sit and talk to chat. Wow, you know what's funny? This comes in on screen Faster. literally before I know. we can see it. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ben. Oh, hello there. Hi, Ben. Uh, mm -hmm. Everyone's anonymous today. Mm -hmm. So you say whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Until you're not anonymous yeah. and it loads. And I like it because it's hard to tell how many people are here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grateful uh, for a very small audience. I am too. I am too. I'm grateful for this uh, time period too. The... Uh, the pulse meditation was cool. The live with B was cool. The office hours was cool. During office hours, B was like, so we're going to push everyone as hard as we possibly can uh, before this next chapter of the second paradigm starts. So buckle up. Let's do it. Buttercup. I liked it. I liked it mucho. Yeah, it was really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I asked what you wanted to talk about. You said life updates. Yeah, it just seemed broad enough. Okay. Well, that's what I named live uh, chatting and life updates with mm -hmm. David and Miriam. So I mean, do, you have, is, do you have life updates? That's just true. Do I have life updates? Yeah. <sighs> do you want to move your cup slightly out of screen oh. so it's not like eight feet tall? You can put it on there, but 
further back. I know. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't have a, in this moment. You I don't, don't have any life updates. That was your topic. <laughs> Why are you so offended? Um, well, what, are we, what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? I need plan. I need certainty in my life. What are we, just intuitives or something? <laughs> Gonna yes. feel out what we're going to talk yeah, about. Exactly. In the I, moment. Th- I thought this would be a good test for you. See how <laughs> intuitive are you? Can he handle it? Um, I don't know. I mean, there's it. it there's just like things happening. Um, I don't know. Things just kind of feel different. Uh, that's true. Things do feel different. Like stuff with the HOA. Our property manager resigned. In her last day is the 22nd, so our last meeting with her is tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And it just feels like it creates so much more space and opportunity. And Yeah, it's a positive thing for sure. A very good thing. Um, and like everyone on the board's getting along. It's like really, it's pretty easy to like, mm-hmm. oh, did you make a face? Yeah, it's just weird. Right. Like it's a whole 180 has happened from last year to this year. Mm-hmm. I'm slowly becoming the actual handyman. No, you're for the not entire slowly. You're complex. you're actually recognizing who you are. No, I mean like, <laughs> I mean like I'm actually getting oh, projects. Oh, that's true. He created a proposal. Do you want to show? Um, do you want to show them what I did for our neighbor's house? Oh yeah, we can. Can you? I thought you were going to show your proposal. Oh, I mean, I guess I could, but that'd be a little boring. I think <laughs> it'd be very boring. I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know it's so specific to our situation. That you know, what but yeah, David I made did. a I made a uh, keynote presentation that was it's like forty five slides long. Okay, I mean, so that here's can this. you see what's even happening? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's just get well, it without the glare. Don't scroll through too many because I have without the glare. not that I have any. So, okay, so here's here's kind of what it started as, and then I frame this up. So that's the um oh, that's the wood trim. Yep. And then you tilt it down. Yep. Okay, so there's there's me working blurrily. Uh-huh. And those are the test paints. Um, I got it perfect. I got it perfect. It's so nice. And then I uh, cocked around the whole thing with my cock gun. That's when he said... Shot some brad nails in there. That's when he said, I need cock. And I said, me too. Uh-huh. And then... Uh, uh-huh. You just <laughs> skip over that. And then we painted it. There it is. The beauty. I actually want to see it with the dining room table put back in. Mm-hmm. There I am. Just proud. His just proudest proud work. proud wall papa. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's pretty good. And yeah, then it came I, out really, And really then good. I said, give us a thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Yes, she did. My dad always used to say, give me a wave. And I was always like, so... <laughs> There's so many pictures of me like this. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, there it is. Yep. There it is. It's yep, hard yep. to see, but... Well, you get the idea. Yeah, um, it turned out pretty good. Woohoo, property. See, they're happy she's resigning. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. It's, it's pretty like, wild. It's like a BFD, if I'm really honest. It's kind of fucking nuts. Yeah. Yeah. The way so everything much room now. things played out. Yeah. It's so good. And then, I mean, this is this is all just, I talked about this in my live that I made private. I've been like making them public and then unlisting them and making them private. So if you're in the community, you can only find them through that link mm-hmm. is essentially mm-hmm. where they're at. Um, I guess we can do the same thing here too if you want. Well, yeah, I just end up talking so much shit on the internet that I'm kind of like, eh, one quick little search and whoa, Miriam has opinions. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, fuck, this is not what I thought she was thinking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. But, um, what was I going to say? Oh, we ended up having a meeting with the finance department of our property management group and our property manager's boss and our property manager. So there were three of them there from the company. And then we found out even more got uncovered about the money and why the finances are fucked, um, which was really illuminating, but it's what we knew all along. But it's funny because yeah. right after, not at, right after that meeting, that meeting was at 10 a.m. And then at 8 p.m., her boss sent a 
email to all of us board members except for me because <laughs> I'm not in the system obviously uh, just to not to be rebellious but for whatever reason they, I don't know why but um, they sent an email saying she resigned so I was like oh fascinating so yeah now I'm going to uh, replace the like they know about the gully business that we pay eighty dollars an hour for for like untrained kids to come through. Yeah, there's a thirty dollar flat fee for them to come out here, and if there's two of them, it's a sixty dollar fee. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and then times and then times seventy five dollars, but now we're up to eighty. Yeah, but it's not eighty for both of them, right? So it's one hundred sixty no. an mm -hmm. hour. If there's two of them, yeah. And oh they're just God. like, they're just hourly kids. They're... And you've all seen hourly workers. We know what hourly workers look like. Mm -hmm. They go slow. Yeah, really slow. And like, is it thorough? And is there a game plan? And is there follow-up? Is there accountability? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. No, it's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we have this like, I call it a wash because I'm from Arizona. Apparently that's a West Coast term. But we call it the gully here. Yeah, which and is, seen I thought it was a term Instagram. for something else actually. But it doesn't matter. Um, anyway, there's this like little mini stream that runs into a pipe. And then it goes underneath our parking lot and then it keeps going. But it'll overflow. Like it's like eight feet deep. Like a big, huge trench with a pipe down at the end. Small pipe. And it'll fill. It's a pretty small pipe. Probably like 30 inch pipe. Big pipe, but small small for what it is. I don't even think it's that big. I do. Okay. Um, but the... <laughs> We have to measure. I it. know my inches, honey. I know <laughs> thirty. Inches. I know pipe. I was gonna. Inches. I was gonna say twenty-four. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I think thirty is just a standard pipe, oh, but it okay. could be. It could be a smaller one. You're right. Well, I don't know. How am I gonna know? You're right. I don't you don't know. have to agree with me so quickly. That was nice, but we can. We no, should, I just we should make I don't bets. Know. No, I just wasn't making a big deal about the inches, and you're making a very big deal about <laughs> the inches, honey. <laughs> Okay. Just the, the pipe is what the pipe is. There's no change in the inches of the pipe. The, the girth of the pipe is staying the girth of the pipe. Okay, that's, that's right. <laughs> I accept. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but there's this tiny pipe <laughs> <laughs> that we're just going to have to live with uh, down at the end of this at the end of this river and it comes from the apartment buildings and from the fire station and it's all not a river the... though it's a brook it's very small sure. it's a small stream which it makes it yeah, even but more if we get a lot concerning. of if we get a lot of rain then it turns into a little mini river and then the it all flows into this tiny little pipe but it fills with like it fills with debris and it fills with sand right now the entire pipe's completely covered by just sand and sticks so we pay these kids to come and they probably get paid like 20 bucks an hour and then the company makes 80. Mm -hmm. We pay them to come out and Wild. clean, and they like kind of clean it. They just clean up around a little bit, but they it's not they don't even make the pipe visible, which it's, is crazy. They clean how a kid would clean. Yes, yeah, they clean like if you ask your teenage son, like, "Hey, buddy, can you go out and clean the gully today?" And he'd be like, "Yeah, Dad, I guess so." <laughs> that kid's cleaning. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm gonna take over that, which is cool. I have to get a general liability insurance. It's like a whole fucking thing. And then if they want me to do more, because I can also start working on other things around here, then I'll probably become a general contractor. There's like a certain license. I think I paid 250 bucks for two years and then I can work on one to four um, single family homes. One to four bedroom, one to four, one to four unit, one mm -hmm. to four unit homes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's a whole thing. I know. Which is very new. It's very just new. so surprising. Yeah, the wall thing kind of came out of nowhere and then this kind of came out of nowhere too. So I, I put together a presentation and it's pretty good. It's very Looks good. Pretty good. It's very amazing. We showed it to neighbor Sue yesterday, and yeah. she was blown away. Yeah, I made a, um, I made a mock up of the gully in Photoshop uh, to kind of show what I wanted to do to widen the edges, and then I showed, I showed where all of the phases would be. So, like, first I want to prioritize right in front of it and show the He's diameter. Giving you the presentation. And then I wanted to to clean up above it so that things wouldn't stick. You know, so I I, did, I laid it out in three priorities. Essentially, as you get closer to the hole, it's a bigger priority, right? <laughs> Uh, but then as you get further away from the hole, you know, it's still, it's still a oh thing you want to pay attention to, Please. but uh, it's not as big meeting. of a priority. <laughs> Stick with this script. <laughs> so I made like a 45 uh, slide PowerPoint keynote, really. Who, who uses PowerPoint anymore? We're all on Macs, right? Uh, to, 
to show them what it would look like and I added in my like uh, my Photoshop drawings and stuff and it's it's pretty good it's, and then I laid out costs it's and very, uh, it's very and good. estimates multiple plans for payments it's gonna blow them away to see how um, yeah well the standards are very low <laughs> it's true so I probably didn't need to do a PowerPoint honestly <laughs> I could have just showed up and like, hey guys, here's what I'm thinking, you know. And they would have been so for it. Yeah, they would have loved it. They but... unanimously said yes when I said, "Hey, how... David's willing to help with the gully," and they all, like, all we have. I don't know yeah. that we've all ever agreed on stuff so on quickly. Anything. We've agreed on stuff, but like, it it really shocked me. I was yeah, like, was "Oh cool. my god, this is awesome!" And this was last pretty month. Cool. So, I don't know. It's just it's interesting the way things are going, and then. Mm -hmm. If I pitch myself as the property manager for next year, which I mm -hmm. definitely foresee. Yeah. I'll make another PowerPoint. <laughs> yes. It's just... Um, We're going to brand the shit out of her too. It's going to be so dope. Yeah. It's just... Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just kind of feels like where things are going. So it's it's just weird. It's weird to feel where things are going and have like basically no excitement. Like it feels like that manic feeling of like creating something or doing something or having to get something done just doesn't exist anymore. Like it's like, Oh yeah, that's, that's mm -hmm. next or it could be next. Mm -hmm. Cause there, I mean, there's the potential that they would say no and that would be fine. Mm -hmm. But I'm like 10 out of 10 positive that I will be doing a year from now. I'll be the property manager here. And that's like, I don't know. It's just kind of, um, just kind of feels like that's what's happening yeah it's weird we've given you an update before where we thought i was gonna be the project manager property yeah sorry property manager and i thought about it and i started putting together some stuff and then we decided i'd be better at it she would be better at it honestly she would be better <laughs> at it i would not be a good handyman <laughs> yeah if you like david we, because i was thinking i'd be the property manager so i could be the handyman was essentially kind of what i was thinking i was like and i'll also sit at the clubhouse and like talk to people and i can do all that stuff uh, but like really i i can build all the back end stuff but i'm more of like a back end kind of guy you know <laughs> and since i love the back end so much uh i'm more i'm a good like i'm a good number two <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta know my place. I gotta know my place. But but Miriam's a better um, day to day like on communications. I'm I'm, I'm people don't message me, and I don't I don't entirely know why. Like I would probably <laughs> I would probably answer, but like I have very short conversations with people. You've all you've messaged me. You've you've all had interactions with me. It's very short conversations. I don't completely know why that is. <laughs> <laughs> why I'm like fairly unapproachable and you know don't hold conversations very well you know I don't completely know why but it's just it's how I am it's how I am I'm more of like I go into a cave for a few weeks and I come out with like a gem and you're like yeah. where'd you get that and I'm like I dug real fucking deep I got uh -huh. my pickaxe I've been going at it and yeah. I'm fucking covered in soot but That's while true. I'm in the cave it's a little hard to locate me uh so Miriam's much better day to day I think she'll do a yeah, much better job. Yeah, and I think I'm I just would. better at gossiping. That's true. That's I just true. go right for the heart of the matter. Yeah, which is great for building rapport. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's unreal. We've it, talked about this before. But yeah, it's unreal. It Watching really Miriam, works. she's so uh, selective with her gossip. It's like mm, pinpoint mm -hmm. precision gossip. It has to, yeah. And it's just enough where the person just opens up immediately. Yeah. And it's like. When you talk to Miriam, it's like talking to your best friend. When you talk to me, it's like talking to a fucking coal miner who's been in the cave for three weeks. <laughs> yeah, but then you give us something and we're like, what the that's fuck? That's true. That's true. Yeah. I find some cool shit. You make people think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 We were talking to our neighbor yesterday about what? What were you thinking? Nothing. It's just oh. funny. It's a funny overall conversation. It's an overall enjoyable experience. <laughs> this is overall enjoyable yeah, experience. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. <laughs> uh, yesterday we were talking to our neighbor Sue about tallow. Hey, let me know if the music's too loud or too quiet or anything too. Sometimes it's oh, just can... way too fucking loud and I just don't know. So you can turn it's hard it to tell. Off if you want. Uh, we were talking sure. to neighbor Sue yesterday about the tallow. And she's like, so it's like beef? fat that I'm rubbing on my skin I was like yes mm -hmm. that's exactly what it she's like I don't know about that I'm gonna have to really think about this she's yeah. like but my hands are so dry I'm like it would work yeah, that's that's what it's for mm -hmm. I was like it's what they used to use your tallow is pretty fucking badass the 
batch came out really well. The branding is mm. just fucking on point. Well, that that label you. looks amazing. That was I just, you. I, let me just compliment you on that. Label. <laughs> <laughs> you Fantastic. can tell. So Fantastic. for the lids, I put the scent on the lids and it's off center. The circle sticker is just off center on basically all of them. Mm. And then David... That's unfortunate. And then David did the wraparound label because that's the hardest one to keep it lined up all the way around. The it, don't look too close. It's not perfect. Uh, it's, it's fucking hard. Right. But it is good. And I was like, ah, it's off center. It's so homemade. <laughs> Just tap it on the top. I'm like, that's fine. That's true. I mean, my crocheted washcloths aren't perfect. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I did get an interesting inquiry about crocheting washcloths for someone for their product line. Mm hmm. Yeah, which is also kind of random. That came in today. I was like, really? Okay. Yeah, like, hey, would you make me 20 to 50 washcloths? That's pretty fucking mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. She's like, I'd give you credit as the creator. I was like, okay. Sure. I was like, I only know how to do one stitch. <laughs> <laughs> but here, uh, yeah, I sent her a little video of what, what they look like. They're six by six, which I didn't even realize until I measured them. Mm-hmm. I kind of just make them until it feels right and then stop. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's funny feeling all these things come together. It's very interesting. Very interesting. I told her it was delightfully unexpected. Mm-hmm. And it'd be an honor to work with her, honestly. She's like one of the few accounts that I actually respect on Instagram and mm-hmm. appreciate. That's good. And she, I mean, yeah, it's just, yeah, it would be, it would be an honor. Mm-hmm. It's wild. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like it's it's rare that I get invited into things or like invited to do things. Hmm. Like I feel like I'm the inviter. Hmm. So it's like it's almost a little disorienting. I'm like, me? What? Why? What's wrong with you? Have you not heard my videos? Have you not seen my opinions? Like why the fuck? What? Huh? Hmm. Like it's, yeah, I don't know. But that's probably precisely why. <laughs> yes, Miriam, I've heard your opinions. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I don't know what will ever come of it, but I'm happy to yeah. do something. I don't know. And it's funny, too, because I just picked up two little balls of yarn the other day. I was like, David, I need to get crocheting washcloths again. And... I'm not even out, but it just kind of felt like I mm-hmm. needed to make more. That's true. Yeah, you did start doing mm-hmm. that. That's funny. I know. Hmm. Yeah, something's like right at the edges of my awareness. Oh, he never likes that? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I put on the helmet and I got my fucking pickaxe. <laughs> put on my headlamp. I get so dirty. I went in the back door again. <laughs> God. Um. <laughs> Are you guys feeling that too? The like, I don't know, just there's like something on the horizon. Something new and different. It doesn't at all feel... Um, apocalyptic i mean i think that'll happen for other people but i just don't relate to the apocalypse yeah, that's narrative interesting. i don't think about the world very often anymore funny enough that hasn't been in my awareness at all where the world's at i feel like everything's just kind of in a holding pattern yeah like nothing's really happening that makes sense nothing of interest i mean there's things that i think are yeah interesting. i mean yeah like the atf just said if you sell a gun you're a dealer and you need to get a license so that's that kind of sucks Oh, yeah. They basically I, like, I did completely see got that. rid of private gun sales this week. I did see that. So that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I keep up with, like, firearms news. <laughs> Look at your shirt. I know. <laughs> Who have you fucking... become? How? I don't know. I'm like a dad that, like, it looks like I, like, I don't know. Grunt style. GS. This will defend. This we will wheel. Mm, this this we wheel will defend. defend. Yeah, big American flag. U.S. 1776. Mm-hmm. G.S. It's a good year. Good yep. year. It's when the Freemasons got here and yeah, built everything for us. Mm-hmm. Founded that's when that's they when founded. We were first told we were free. Yeah, Am exactly. I right? Am I right? <laughs> 
Emily uh, said. Emily says, yeah, I've been feeling that the past few days. Here, let me put my position my shirt over the comments. So Anonymous. There we go. Anonymous said. There you go. Not you guys. Oops. Yeah. It's mirrored. Well, I figured, Anybody Emily, of all it. people, yeah, your whole life is um, exploding and yeah. colliding and straightening out mm-hmm. all at once. <laughs> yeah. All at the same time. Yeah, it seems good, though. Mm-hmm. I know. Every time I feel into your situation, Emily, it just feels good. Yeah. I hope if I am gaslighting you, it's in the right direction. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's our motto here. Yeah. The paradigm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Let's talk about the law of one. Have you guys, did you guys see the edited video that David did? Uh, yeah. Did you, can you please praise me? <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> Oh my god, that does not sound like something you'd say, ever. I spent so fucking long on that Oh my video. god, so it crazy. long. It was long enough that Miriam was like, are we even dating anymore? Are we even in a dating. relationship? Are <laughs> we dating? Yeah, it gets to that, it gets to that point. It's mm-hmm. a cave. It's well, a I know, it is cave. a cave. And then I just don't see him for like days. Like actually. Mm-hmm. Outside editing, inside editing, up late editing. I'm like, fuck. Mm-hmm. But then I saw it and I was like, this is really good. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if you guys saw it, the edited version. I mean, it's, it's so much it's, fucking better. Than it, but it's still really hours. long. When <laughs> I know. I know. I would love to make like a um, five minute version. Yeah. Like all thousand pages of the law, one in five minutes. I would love to make that video. Yeah. Don died. <sighs> Yeah. It's funny. We got a comment on it that said, "Like I've never seen such, like hatred and a critic, yeah, other than an atheist talk uh-huh. about the law of one." But interesting points. And I was like, "Oh, that's fascinating," because I described ourselves one time as spiritual atheists because I don't resonate with any form of anyone else's spirituality. Yeah, we kind of have the demeanor of atheists, but we like believe in God and. We have like the faith of Christians and the shit talking of atheists. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. Most people are like kind of very like, you know, live and let live, you know, just uh, whatever works for you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this isn't working for you. It's fucking (laughs) obvious. Mm -hmm. If it was working for you, I'd leave you alone. But this is crazy. Mm -hmm. You know what happened to the guy? The questioner? I know. Man, that would be crazy. That would be like if I was the questioner, you were the channel. Yeah. And then Molly Cat was our transcriber. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then after all of these questions. Yeah. I blew my brains out. Yeah. And then I never channeled B again. No, no, right. But you went on to channel. But then I channeled C. Right. Yeah, and just I progressively looked sicker and sicker and sicker. And was yeah, constantly under psychic attack. I know it's there's so many pieces of that that are just so crazy to me. Yeah, it still boggles my mind. I know I definitely think about it, maybe because you were working on it so much. But mm-hmm. well, I just keep thinking. I'm like, there's no way that the people that teach the law of one have read this. Like, I just don't think so. I think they take core concepts i think they take like the buzzwords like fourth density mm-hmm. and sixth density mid sixth density <laughs> that still cracks me up it's mid yeah it's mid <laughs> not that great but mid i put up the urban dictionary definition when you said that oh cool that's awesome oh i didn't see that mm-hmm. in the edit yeah, you didn't see my final edit no i guess i didn't I trimmed it by another probably six minutes oh that's great uh-huh i streamlined some stuff Added some more That's graphics, cool. some more sound effects. The sound design was actually one of the harder things, funny mm-hmm. enough. I thought you nailed it. It was nice. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. Yeah. It's, I don't know. The, I don't know. Just the whole concept. The law of one stuff is just, I, I don't know. I just keep thinking about it. And I keep mm-hmm. thinking about the teachers. What teachers? The teacher, the people that teach it, or the people. Well, oh, they're not so much teachers; they're more reg- like regurgitators. Yeah, they're like tutors, TAs. Yeah, 
I don't know. It's just sad. I, I, the more we go on this journey and the more solid I feel in my worldview and my experience and my lived experience and everything we've created, like I just, I look out at other people and I'm like, fuck, they're so fucking lost. Mm -hmm. Like, where are you going? You're scanning somewhere, huh? Yeah, I was scanning, but I was also uh, listening David simultaneously. Left. <laughs> this is, no, see I, you guys, I this is two, what I'm dealing. I have two brain streams going simultaneously. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that, I, I kind of That's weave them together. One. I literally felt you exit stage left. No. We should run it no. back. There's probably a little orb up here that just floated well, out of screen. Well, I just, I probably I look retarded because when I got two brain streams running, I can't put attention oh. into like looking cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs> just take, drooling. That would take a whole other one. You need three brain streams. <laughs> oh, that's your cool look. Mm -hmm. What do they What do they call that thing? Where they, they're Duck doing lips? mewing. Oh, mewing. I don't even completely know. What I don't it know. Is. There's something with the jaw. Like you're like I think you like relax your mouth. Oh, and there's then, like the, clench your with the right. the taping your. There's the mewing and the taping that, like, your you lips. Know. So it's the fuckboy look. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> that's people are teaching how to do it now. There's like mewing tutorials. There's probably like you could probably search mewing tutorial and you'd get like ten thousand YouTube shorts of just fucking teenage boys and they go like, look right here, look right here. Yeah, you want to see that? Wait, see. is this is this it's like your, something like is that? Is this in your algorithm? Um, is there something you want to share? Yeah, it's in my algorithm, <laughs> but I, I haven't seen them. <laughs> then how do you know? Because I've seen enough thumbnails to know what it is, and oh. I know what mewing is, and I've heard some conversation. It was probably fucking when you were watching Cancelled or something by Tana. Oh, probably. I love Tana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to out me. Well, you're trying to out me, but there's nothing to out. <laughs> okay, so what were you? What were you getting? Your your two brain streams. <laughs> <laughs> it's embarrassing when you repeat it back like that. It just needs to be, it needs to breathe. <laughs> it can't be responded to. Um, they weren't done. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I have some stuff, but I'm still I'm still putting it together. But I'm still scanning. Okay, there's like there's a few brain streams. There's, I'm still scanning the, that feeling because there's something on the edge of my awareness. So I'm still kind of just oh, yeah, every once in a while I'm checking in on that. That's yep. still running. But then I was listening to you, and then I was also thinking about how it feels like the second paradigm is going in a good direction. A new direction. A good direction. <laughs> <laughs> Lame. <laughs> yeah, it seems as though the second paradigm has a new direction, <laughs> just like me. <laughs> Uh, when's the last time I wore pants on a live, right, honey? <laughs> that, would be crazy. that would be crazy. That would be crazy. Uh, oh God! No, I'm wearing pants. You just can't see them. <laughs> just, <laughs> There's no way for you to confirm. Just take his word for it. Okay, so that, and then I was thinking. Well, what I was talking about was like yeah. the where, how people are like really lost. Like there isn't a comprehensive worldview out there, and I just I feel like I keep getting like boinked over the head with that, um, with all sorts of interactions with people. Mm -hmm. And it's becoming more clear the more solid I feel. Yeah, I agree. I agree. The more solid I feel, feel the more lost everyone looks. Yeah. I'm sure you guys feel it too and see it too. Yeah. Obviously. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, like even just like obligatory stuff. It's like, wait, you don't, you know, you don't have to do that, right? Like you can blow that aspect of your life up and uh, you're not going to die. But they have, they, not even, not even in the realm of possibility. Because then, like, oftentimes, like, God isn't real for people or, like, their intuition is just a feeling. It's not really, there's no weight to it. They haven't weighted it mm -hmm. as the most important thing in the dome. Um, yeah, there's just, there's so many layers to it. And then it's like, wait, so how did we all end up here in this place of knowing that our intuition is true and valid? Every time we trust it, things go better. Even when it's hard, we can still feel the rightness in it because we're connected to God and we know that. Mm -hmm. And we're willing to do what that is over our biological discomfort all day, every day. Yeah. Like, how did we end up here? 
<laughs> you know? And then, like, you look around at people, friends, family, and it's like, oh, fuck. Dang it. Don't they know? Don't they? They don't know they're good. Mm -hmm. And you, like, try to tell them and it doesn't matter. It doesn't sink in. It doesn't register. It doesn't slot anywhere because they don't they don't have that lived experience. They haven't done what you've done. You've blown up your life eight bajillion times and you do it all over again for this, for this feeling, for this knowing, for this solidity. You would you would. Mm -hmm. And then they have never blown up their life even once and they're like 70. Yeah. It's like, fuck. Yeah, it's weird to me how like the pressures of the world kind of crush people into playing an archetype. That's not a hundred percent. You know? Absolutely. It's so easy to not become a person here. Oh, yeah. It's so easy to just play the archetype until you die mm -hmm. and not have like opinions or stances that are outside the social norm. Like, you know, because mm -hmm. we can all feel where the edges of that are. Mm -hmm. You can be interested in things that are interesting, but like, that's it. You wouldn't ever go beyond that. I've been thinking about that a lot. I don't know, just in a series of different conversations with all sorts of random people lately. Mm -hmm. It's like you can see where they're stuck. And like, you know how I get, I get all pissed. I'm like, I don't want you to be stuck anymore. Stop being fucking stuck. You're fucking amazing. Don't you fucking know that? I get, you know how I get mm -hmm. very loving, mm -hmm. kind, mm -hmm. gentle, compassionate. nurturing, compassionate. <laughs> Yeah, we were talking about it on our walk today, how we're not, we don't really do the whole conditional love or the uh, unconditional love thing. We do conditional love here. <laughs> yeah, but like so does everyone else, you know? Yeah, but no one wants to admit it. Yeah, no one wants to admit it. Uh, yeah, because there's two threads, right? One is like, if you want to see how conditional everyone's love is, like have a fucking opinion mm -hmm. and everyone goes away real fucking quick. Yeah. But like the, the, the whole game that of like well you know you have to love everyone and everything's so great like everyone wants to think that they're doing that i'm not fucking doing that we're not doing that here like well, I we're, just can't... we're very fucking conditional like to a to an extreme like i think we become more conditional over the years honestly like we become more judgmental and yeah. and our like our affirmation and friendship all of it is very conditional like it's conditional on you trusting yourself yeah and it's such a mm -hmm. unique i know it's such a I unique know. condition mm -hmm. that that condition isn't really out there so like you know people get around us and they're a little confused at first <laughs> they're like i don't know how to play the social game with you right you know uh -huh. it's like i don't know which character to play with you yeah that's like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. can Precisely. you play none of them Exactly. If you can play none of them, we're going to be fucking friends. This is going to be great. But if you deviate from yourself, we're going to call it out or we're going to sit in discomfort and you're going to know we don't like it. And you know you don't like it. You know, it's like it's a it's a funny line that we mostly Miriam. Well, hold. yeah, because, well, a couple nights ago we were out talking to the neighbors and one of the guys was over there and we had just come. Oh, you can see my pants on my leg right there. That's good. Oh, That's good. You ruined it. You ruined the illusion. I know. The fantasy. <laughs> Whatever you guys had going on. Pant reveal. Pant reveal. <laughs> Pant reveal 100 subs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can get three likes on this video, guys. <laughs> Let's break our record. If we, if we get if we get three likes, we're going to do a pant reveal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh hello i don't know who you are yet because your thing hasn't oh danny. oh danny dan dan um we were outside talking to our a whole cluster of neighbors and we were talking about the eclipse and how the acidic the hasidic jews rolled in and they were so their energy was so fucking heavy and like they rolled in in a minivan from New York. So it was loud. like very stereotypical. The door slung open and they're all like, -la 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 -la, you know, whatever fucking speaking, mm -hmm. whatever they're fucking speaking. So we were telling that story and one of the guys was like, well, I bet they had like cool curls, you know, 
and it was just kind of funny yeah because yeah. it's like i was like oh because like i guess what we're saying is anti-semitic <laughs> i don't know no it's it's not it's not no i know it's but like, not yeah the, i actually the love impulse. the hasidic jew ideology because yeah. their whole thing is that they're the best keep your fucking bloodline pure and i'm like i feel the same way about intuitives like i fucking get it yeah yeah. Like if y'all start reproducing with some dumbass fucks, if your fucking partner isn't intuitive, like you're fuck, fuck you guys your, are gonna fuck, fuck this whole tree. thing up. <laughs> <laughs> so just that's a fucking trip. Like imagine, imagine if our whole if our whole purpose was to like get our bodies a certain way and then to have children and to pass it on so that they could do what we couldn't do. I mean, I think that is a big piece I mean, of it. Yeah, it is, I guess it is. I feel like piece. you just said it. Yeah, it's just weird. I don't think about that time scale. I think about my life, you know? Oh, right. Oh, no, no. But not the Hasidic Jews. They're thinking yeah, they're long think, yeah. haul. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it. I, I yeah. saw the documentary that Peter Saladino did. Nope, I'm mixing the two names up. Um, Santinello. Santinelli. Yeah, P- Peter whatever yeah, you know who he is he does the youtube documentaries i saw the documentary i was like i get it i i get the mentality no qualms so but anyway they fucking roll up and we're telling the story and it was like terrible the energy was terrible they're hawking loogies like crazy it was insane like nine inches away from my lawn chair it was yes. crazy i was standing rolled I was up a cigarette but they still parked like right fucking yes. on me just like so then i sat there yeah just sat, just in the sat tension. Waiting, that we could have moved our chairs out oh i just easily. fucking sat there mm-hmm. didn't move an inch uh-huh. and then you know yeah, and then i'm movies. like judging them hardcore because they sling open their door and there's fucking candy oozing out everywhere mm-hmm. and it's like i don't know i thought you were supposed to do the kosher thing like you know i don't know it's just like it's ugh. but i just didn't like their energy anyway and then the guy said some loud jewish prayer the moment that totality hit yeah adonai adonai yeah. And i was like amen <laughs> i don't know i, I don't know mm-hmm. i was like bro this isn't all about you you know like you can yeah. like because everyone was just starting to simmer down like there was all the chatter the whole time they put up a drone yeah <sighs> It was just like one of the guys was just fucking hawking loogies. Oh my god, so gross! The big, deep, like snot, nose inhale, and then mouth exhale uh-huh. and spit. And maybe like every two minutes. Oh, it was disgusting. So odd overall experience. But we were telling our neighbor, and he was like, "I'm sure they had great curls," because it's uncomfortable to rail in. <laughs> yeah, it's uncomfortable to talk about anyone that way, even when it's true, right? I don't know. I yeah, but when I think about those guys, that minivan filled with Jews, I imagine they would agree with me. <laughs> if I was like, you guys rolled up like you fucking owned the place, and you're spitting fucking loogies everywhere. You had your drone flying. You weren't quiet. Mm-hmm. You didn't shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. I how could they disagree with that? Mm-hmm. They'd probably be like, oh yeah, sister, I can understand. <laughs> I can understand your concerns. They would just bless me. I don't know but it is it is interesting to like break those Mm -hmm. break those like social barriers and just say things outright and like it does make people uncomfortable and it does make them squirm and they don't like it's like ah ah (laughs) I don't know Mm -hmm. Uh, they're probably nice people though right Mm -hmm. it's like not really (laughs) yeah I don't know how we got on that thread other than there was something before that we were talking about. Mm-hmm. Okay. It was all the same point. Conditional. Mm-hmm. I know I was even thinking about that with my friend today. My old friend from back in the day that went super woke with the pronouns and all that stuff. I was mm-hmm. like, you know what? I'm like, Okay. Mm-hmm. Like it's just it's not bothering me. I mean, it's bothered me for a long time. It's been really hard, but it's like I don't know. It's just kind of like whoa, okay, just a completely different path. 
Yeah. And like, oh my God, if I were to say the Hasidic Jew thing, that would fucking not go over well. Like, and that's weird. That's weird when like my own speech and like my own experience has to be edited in front of other people so that way they're comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what we were talking about on our walk, how like making friends is very fucking easy when you keeping them sorry part no 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 no. it's easy it's so fucking easy making friends with literally anyone like becoming best fucking friends ever is so fucking easy especially as an intuitive person yeah like we have the capacity to be friends with literally anyone we want anyone it's so fucking easy i know because you can feel exactly where the edges are and when you're willing to compromise and when you're willing to not cross those lines, it's incredibly easy. But I think you start to realize very quickly that friendship is more conditional than people lead on, right? Like when you yes. are yourself and you do cross those lines or you're not constantly scanning the energy to see where their lines are, mm-hmm. then making friends isn't very easy because you have to actually have things in common. Mm-hmm. Right, right. right. But like we're all, when we are all playing these surface level archetypes, the archetypes can fucking be friends with each other very easily. Mm -hmm. So fucking easily. Yeah. But when you're actually yourself, you have to find people who actually like you. Mm -hmm. And that's a very different social game. Yeah. It's so fucking different because there are so few people like you. Mm -hmm. So I think inevitably... And this is, I think, one of the main challenges for people who are starting on the intuitive path, and it it lingers, but I think at some point you just get used to it, is when you start being yourself out in the world and saying things that are actually true, and you follow your intuition, right? It's not just, it's not blatantly rebelling against all of those lines you can feel. It's not scanning and going, I'm going to cross fucking all of them. It's not pushing buttons. It's not being like an arrogant little prick. It's none of those things. It's just... I can feel that I'm supposed to say this. I can feel that I'm supposed to stand in this. I can feel that I'm supposed to tell people about this piece of me. Whatever it is, when you start doing that, people start going away. And you start, it feels like you're losing everything. Yeah. But there's this sharp decline. And then you kind of get to a baseline where there are still people around. And that's weird. There's Mm -hmm. still enough people around. There's still some. That's what happened with you guys in 2020 yes <laughs> yes didn't yeah. leave. our audience used to be much bigger <laughs> <laughs> we swear but then like you hit the bottom and it's mm-hmm. it's weird recognizing that all of that the difference between the bottom and the peak of us playing the social game was all our work it was all fluff it was all people that weren't actually aligned. Right. And we've always had this amount of people who actually like us or who are willing to be around who we actually are. Mm-hmm. But once you hit that bottom, then you're at the bottom and there's an actual build. And if you're consistent yeah. with who you are for the rest of your life, the idea that we'll never have friends again or romantic partnerships or whatever, whatever our loneliness is asking for the idea that we'll be alone forever is fucking crazy. It makes no sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We just took the, we took the L (laughs) of all the people that weren't aligned in the first place. L's in the chat. (laughs) Uh Give us an L if you took the L. (laughs) But it's an, it's an inevitable piece of, it's like coming out of the closet, you know? Like the, it's like how the gays lose their fucking Christian family. Like it's the same yeah. thing. It's you take the same blow because you, you know where the line is. Yep. And if you're a gay boy in a fucking fundamentalist Christian church mm. in fucking Georgia, you know that yeah. if you cross that line, you're, you're going to lose, lose everything. everything and you fucking do. Yeah. Like that's true, of course, but that's the beginning of your life. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because to compromise it may feel like you're losing nothing, but you've already lost everything. Mm-hmm. You don't even have anything. Yeah. Hmm. 
I know. I think that was like a disorienting part for me is when I just kind of always assumed people would be in my life forever. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I always thought that. I've come to understand that is not the case. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's always like felt like that. Yeah. But then when I look back on my life, I'm like, wow, not not true at all. Mm-hmm. Like my high school friends didn't go into my college friends and then my call it beyond college. And, you know, after that and all those iterations of life, they they lasted until they didn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. The impermanence of everything, I think, is always helpful to remember. The temporary nature of yeah, of it all. But, you know, maybe this is the thread that I'm starting to feel. Because from the pulse meditation, it's good. It's our 299 a month meditation, monthly meditation thing. It's also I included in Members and Members Plus. David should name it. What? The Throb. Yeah, the, the throb, the monthly throb. What's the pulse? Because, <laughs> you know, uh, get your finger on the pulse, the energy. Yeah. It's the idea. You know what's funny? I saw... Tell me. <laughs> I saw... My I know. thought's not important anyway. This is what I've been you... scanning for over the past fucking... Okay. 51 minutes. All right, well, fine. You say it. No, I lost it. It's gone. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. It's gone. It's whoosh, whoosh, wiped. Well, must not. you must not have had that big of a hook on it. Yeah, or maybe you're just very distracting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw Lee Harris say something about the pulse. Okay. It was just that's quite... it. Yeah, that was it. I didn't watch the video, but I was like, "Oh, that's interesting. He's using that word." Yeah, well, it's a good, it's a good word. Okay, so in the latest pulse meditation word. in our two ninety nine membership a month. Well, no, it was this feeling of the, it's that same thing I was just talking about where it feels like you have everything, but you've built a life that isn't yours. And the tragedy isn't that you lose everything. It's that you built that life in the first place. Right. This is the real tragedy is that we wasted our fucking time. We built nothing on a foundation of a person that we weren't even, but then you lose it all. And I think we've realized that every single time we change, we lose it all. Yeah. The New Agers would call that the ego death. Sure, sure. Or the dark yeah. night of the soul. Dark night of the soul. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. But every time you change your external identity, the world responds differently to you, and the things that you once had often go away. The people, the jobs, the security, the, whatever it is. And I think we've learned this behavior pattern we've learned that our our behavior translates to this pattern in reality that every time we change and we grow we lose everything so i think there's this feeling of bracing for impact mm. right like especially when new energy starts to come in there's this feeling of like okay so i'm going to lose everything and then i'm going to start from scratch and then that's it right but what b was saying in the pulse was and you know maybe this was even this was in the live with b too the same thread that's funny there's this idea that theoretically at some point, I think this is the way that B put it in the live with B. Theoretically at some point, there's a version of you where you become yourself and you no longer compromise and you just are you. And you're becoming, right. you know, progressively tiny bits more of you and you're growing your skill sets and you're interacting with the world and you're building things, but you're you. And when you are you, what is there to change? When you're already representing your true soul essence mm-hmm. and you're on the path that God has laid out for you, what is there to change? And what is there left to blow up if everything you build is on the foundation of who you actually are? Right. Right? Like at some point, it's not that we grow and then everything blows up and goes away. It's that we grow and then our life grows with it. Mm-hmm. And this is the point really. Like this is the the trajectory, the series of realities that we've been trying to get to for a very long time. We've been trying to position ourselves to a place of no compromise so that we don't keep having to build these little tiny one to two year lives that then crumble because they were built on a foundation of nothing. But those are all the detours that we skipped along the way. 
And when we learned to not detour anymore and stuck with it, we it was a lot of pressure because it was very difficult to not build these enticing little. Oh, and everyone around you is recommending that you build the mini 100%. life. A hundred percent. It's that very you take tempting. The detour. Very, very tempting to build these little mini detours of, well, I could start this little side thing and I could do this and I could maybe have a new friend group here in this little city or I could build my thing here in this very temporary location. And I like it's very tempting to try to grow into our life as much as possible. But when we stop compromising and we only do the things that are true, we get to this point where we're standing on a foundation of who we actually are. Everything we build from that place of no of zero compromise is actually a representation of ourselves. So we're, we've worked our entire life to get to a place where we no longer compromise. Now we're getting to the point where we can actually be ourselves and there's no reason to blow up anything ever again. Right. Like that's the thing that's, that's the mm-hmm. thing that's in the, in the air. That's the thing that I've been feeling that I've been trying to articulate is that there's, there's never going to be a reason to blow up anything ever again. And that's the whole fucking point of what we've been doing. Right. Right. Yeah. But I would say I don't see that for most intuitive people. I do see that there's still a bunch of things for them to blow up. Oh, 100%. 100%. That they're burying I mean, their that, head But that's a part of that the getting sand. to the place of zero compromise. Because we rationalize our compromises as right. necessary or it's just what you have to do or yep. this is this is good enough for now or this is yeah. all that I deserve or whatever it mm-hmm. is. But once you detonate everything and there's nothing left, you're building on a foundation of who you actually are. And I think it's tempting to still want to brace. It's tempting to think that we're going to have to blow up everything well, over and over and over and over yeah. again for the rest of our lives. I mean, I am perpetually complexed that people like me. Like even this perplexed. one. Is that the word? Mm-hmm. What did I say? Complexed. <laughs> them that too. <laughs> <laughs> perplexed that people like me mm-hmm. that's always so shocking to me mm-hmm. because i'm like this makes no sense like you are you sure yeah and it's the same thing right like it's bracing for impact like the more that i'm myself the people go away when i'm myself people go away mm-hmm. that's my mantra mm-hmm. yeah she says <laughs> therefore the, the mirror, i shall know. create it no is the thing is is they don't fucking go away that's mm-hmm. the weirdest shit Mm-hmm. Like even when we were over at the neighbors and David was doing the wall, I mean, we had some mega conversations. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That I would love to get into pieces of that. If yeah. And we just keep, we keep pressing the edges more and more and more and more constantly. I think there's, I don't know. It's interesting because there's an edge to every conversation, you know, and there's things to say and things to not say. But I just, yeah, I, I feel like we kind of don't care anymore. I know. I know. I feel like I'm just blowing through all the edges. Like, I can feel mm-hmm. where they are. Mm-hmm. But I'm still going beyond them. Maybe we could mm-hmm. do, like, a members stream. Members only stream and talk about some of that stuff. About edging? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we probably can. I just probably think can. that I think that would probably be a better place for it. Yeah, that's probably true. Well, that's kind of our life update. That's what we got. That's kind of what's coming through from from B in the pulse and generally. There's a there's a feeling here. It's like building what it looks like to actually build a foundation as yourself. Recognizing that it's not going to be nearly as complex and big as you want it to be at the start, but that it's all the same thing, right? It's like, it's the beginning, it's the beginning of your life, your actual life. Yeah. Yeah. We can probably get into it in members. Yeah. Let's do But you want to, um, let's play some dailies or something. Okay. Let's just chill for a bit. (laughs) Down? What? Okay. Or you just want to, what, you want to get into it? Always. <laughs> God, I love the life so much. Stiff it's smile. So fun. Um, hold on. So this is a. Let me think here. This is a. A Chrome screen share, right? That's what it says. So I'm in Safari. So let me open up a Chrome. 
Safari. Beautiful. Oh. Wait, you guys still can't see it. You can hear it though, right? No? <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. It does... Let's, uh, yeah, there okay. we go. Mm. There we go. Okay, well, let's do Wordle. There we are. Yeah, you like Wordle? Yep. She likes Wordle. I sure do. And guys, as an update, I've been doing pearl powder and castor oil on my eyes every night. And I think it's working. I'm waking up with a ton of gunk in my left eye. So I feel like that's a good mm. thing. And I have just like one phantom floater left. Before I had like maybe three, like two in my left eye, one in my right. So for what it's worth, I think it's kind of cool. Okay. <sighs> Wordle. Oh, I have to hold the mic for you. We're going to do just a few probably. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> uh, I think Wordle's pretty good. Um, we could do strands, but it's usually not fun. Let's do crossword. Um, I like I like strands. I like that it's hard. Mini crosswords, NYT. Strands is the word search. You know that? Yes. Okay. Well, you confuse it with um, connections. Well, I also like connections. Okay. Let's do... Maybe we'll do these four. Okay. Uh, we could do contexto, but let's, let's just do this. Okay. Where do you want to start? Wordle. Okay. Uh, Wordle. We did. Sorry. Because it's timed. Oh. Okay. All right. Wordle. Here we go. Wordle. Sneak. I don't want an account. Thank you very much. Ooh. That's pretty damn good. So it's probably S A. Mm. Skink. <laughs> <laughs> like it could be like stank. It could be like stank. Yeah, let's try it. Or um, it's, it's probably not it, honestly. Really? Spank. Um, or I guess that it could be. S A. David's so something, much more conservative than me. Something K? It could be like that. Probably not. Um, it can't be N. What, what word did I have? Stank. Sure. Mm -hmm. Spank? Yeah, probably. Steak, yeah. even. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Jackpot! And we win. Wait, let's go back to the chat. How come we can't see the chat over here? Because I don't have it up. Oh. Howdy, howdy. How'd you guys do? What do you think? What do you think? Okay, next one. Okay. Um, I'm, just, I'm just thinking. I'm thinking. Because I think I can do... <laughs> oh, I perfect. could do something like this, but then I need to change this to like... Like this or something. I see. You know? That should work, and then I should be able to see things still. Okay. <laughs> Very cute.
Which is driving you nuts. Our game is paused, and here, uh, just, you're not going to be able to see anything. It's okay. That's all right. Oh, you got to move us, too, is. so I can see the clues. Mm -hmm. What? Well, probably. Mm -hmm. In here? I could probably even... Um, it's okay if we're timed. Not in the bad, not in the good way. All right. There are... Mm -hmm. There we go. What does it say? Bye. There are 10 in the puzzle. Clues? There are 10 in this puzzle. Yeah, probably. Try to sack as a quarterback. <laughs> uh, with eight across post touchdown attempt. Oh, no. Post touchdown attempt. Dance? Field goal. Um, oh, I don't know sports. I used to. No, it's not that. You don't think it's a field goal? Post touchdown attempt? Oh, I, I don't know. Sure. I, but goals, maybe not. Okay. Lock of hair. Um, lock of, I don't know. Move stealthily. Not that. It's obviously <laughs> Kafka's <Kaf> <laughs> Las Vegas Hotel. Shaped, shaped like, like a pyramid. Luxor. What? Isn't it? Is it? I have no idea. No. That's impressive. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. That sounds like something that someone has said in Vegas before. Okay. Remove as a string. Untie. Untie. Makes on the job. Erect. <laughs> it's the kind of handyman you'll be. <laughs> yeah. With no pants on. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to wear waders, so I'm not going to be wearing pants. Fodder for a sports wonk. Work. Wonk. Wonk. Fodder? I don't know what a wonk is. What's a fodder? Fodder like um fodder for the fire, like <laughs> Oh yeah. Like um like kindling. Flame? Like, like okay. kindling. What's a wonk? Sports wonk. I'm guessing it's like a nerd or like a, someone who's very excited about sports. Mm. Let's try to um try to sack Guys, help us. As a quarterback. Help. I mean sports, come on. Do you think I am? Post touchdown attempt. That X is not looking good. Lock of hair. Hmm. I'm too easy to give up on this. This just makes me want to quit. Well, how many sports things there are? Yeah. I just don't care. I know. Shoot. Oh. Oh. Oh, point. Extra point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bunt? Things on the job. Try to say. Earns. Oh, yeah. That's good. Fodder for a sports wonk. Stats. Mm-hmm. Oh, is this like dress? Lock of hair? What was this? Moved stealthily. Creep. Oh. Press. Nope. Nearly. Oops. What's oh. six across? Six across isn't. Wait. Run at. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see. Run at. Wait, Look. but this is point. So this can't be creep. What did I do? One down. This isn't you press. said crep. Move. I thought it was creep. Move stealthily. <laughs> but this isn't eoint. <laughs> but this isn't I don't know as for the answer creps. I'm over this one Crep. creps we're losing viewership it's rapid in time tress oh like a tress a tress of hair tress oh and crept crept okay. has moved past tense moved alright this okay, is the hard one strands on the grid um, that makes me think of electricity yep yep um elect uh, oops, electric. Telephone. I see telephone. Yeah. Satellite. Tele. Oops. Hold on. Yeah. T no, hold on. Because I can't go. PH and then you O N E. I can cross? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. All right, satellite. Oh, this is a good one. We're finally getting right. it. Hold on. Sat, 
Il. I L. No, it's not satil. <laughs> Satellite. It's definitely not this way. Well, maybe I don't but know I how think... to spell satellite. Sata. I think it's E L I T E. But maybe not. On the grid. On the grid. Um, okay, electric telephone. What else is on? Uh, probably internet, right? Internet. Water. Um, utilities. Oh, that's good. L-I-T. I was thinking accessible for some reason. It's util. E- mm, yeah. That's the. And then, like, natural gas. What is this? He- Cable? Or. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 and then, and then heat. heat. Heta. Heta. Wow, that was the quickest yet. Hell yeah, we're so good at this now. So easy. <laughs> just that one. Just, oh. <laughs> oh. I couldn't see anything. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, we're so good at this. Okay, that was not fun for you. Let's do this one and do it better. Make sure we're in the right position. There we go. That's right. We played this on Eclipse Day, and it was hard. Yeah, these are actually unreasonably hard sometimes. Okay. I'm like not even thinking. Um, I want to say like floor and surprise kind of go together. Like I was floored, I was surprised. Mm-hmm. Like that kind of shocked, rocked. That's kind of, I'm thinking outside the box here. No, it's good. Flush. Oh, surprise. Yeah, I went with surprised. Like the, the shock, the like. Floored, rocked, shocked. I don't know. I'm nervous. Let's try it. It's okay. <gasps> you got it. Yes. Flabbergast. Yes, yes, I, yes. See, I was thinking like, like stage, balcony, orchestra kind of seems similar. Box. Box. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but store, you know what I mean? This kind of seems else. But, maybe but that's all like theater. Really seem like it. Oh, no, that's like seating. You either sit stage, side, oh, yeah, orchestra, yeah, yeah, box yeah, seat, yeah. or balcony. I think that's where you sit. Jackpot. Theater see? Theater sections. I see. Yep, yep, yep. That's good. That's good. Um, there we go. Mm-hmm. Flush level even Oh, this flat. was an easy one. Yeah, flush level even flat. Ding, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Uh, do you want to do Contexto? I love Contexto. It's so hard. Contexto dot me. Let's make sure we're framed up we'll type a word maybe and then see where we end up this stuff will filter out right it's weird to keep that in I think work Carpenter. Hmm. <laughs> White child. I normally do colors because it's usually like a pretty good. Yeah. Green. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Look at you. Paint. Did you artist? Mm-hmm. Oh, you did art. 
Did you do artist though? But it, oh, it was lower. Oh shoot. Um. Hmm. Construction. Remodel. I think it's more like um, a thing. No, like a picture, like mm -hmm. um, like water, like watercolor, like that kind of thing, like um, canvas. Mm hmm. Hmm. What are you guys thinking? Yarn. Wow. Pencil. Am I in the... Mm. Mm. Photo? Album. Ooh. Landscape. Seven guesses. Hmm. Peep. <laughs> Peep. Peep Tom. Peep Tom. Socks. Pants. Shirt. Mm -hmm. Oh. Apron. Pottery. I have pottery on the brain. Charcoal. Whiteboard. I don't know. Blackboard. Okay. <laughs> You're shaking your head before I even say it. Magazine coming soon to a mailbox near you. By the way, mm -hmm. we still haven't done our spring. Soon enough. Well, once we do it, you'll have it as soon as it's done. Well, give or take a few weeks. I know it's been brewing. It's not. Um, we haven't gotten the green light, which is very frustrating for David. Frustrating. It's harder to type like this. Yeah, you're good. This one at like a weird angle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Paint. What's another thing? Like paint. Maybe go with more colors. Maybe do we get all the colors? Red. Boo. Preschool. School was really well. I know. Crafts. Scrap, like scrapbooking. I don't know. Scrapbook? Is that... That's one word. Oh, jackpot. 
scissors. Dang. Letter, card, <gasps> envelope. Letter is interesting. Mm-hmm. Stamp. Gift. Hmm. Wow, we're so close. You guys got any thoughts? Now that we're five away. Yeah, this is a fun time to guess. Mm hmm Stamp. Ink. Graphene oxide. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know this word. Okay. It? Convenient. Is it this? Yeah. No. I, I think it is. Oxide. Stamp. <laughs> Big Darn. pharma. I that was it. Um block <laughs> just keep going because <laughs> all these obscure <laughs> ass words that's how your brain works um we try pen I think we, did pencil. we did do pencil right mm -hmm. cursive Mail, letterpress, good one, Emily. Mm -hmm. Well, good to me. I like that one. Print. Stamp is the closest. Um, adhesive. Stick. Stuck. Stuck. <laughs> ah, we're so close. Letter. Oh, Ooh, that's a good one, too. Are you cheating, Emily? Screen print. Like yours, Emily. Color. Oh my god, we're I don't feel like dummies once it comes through. Adhesive, card, print, letter, stamp. Hmm. It's definitely like a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. I don't think it's a person or a place.
what are those like gobs of um i think I, emily we've sent those videos to each other the ones where it's like the ink uh, no it's not ink it's like a glob of something that keeps the envelope closed and you like heat seal it or some wax yeah wax seal it's funny danny did it earlier but forgot what the word was oh my god funny wait that's crazy and good forgot well play again danny <laughs> Do we do heat? Ooh, pigment's a good one. It was random. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's weird when it's... Um, Yeah, like block letter. Can you do block letter? You can't do two words. Is it, it, what if it's one word? It's not. Oh. Silk screen, you did. Oh, but like. Press? I don't know that it's so literal. Mm -hmm. Question? Read? Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm confused. What do you mean? What does question read mean? Words. Type them in. Oh, she's giving words. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, 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 I see. <laughs> I see. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> it's too calm. I see. Thanks, Danny. Sorry. Mm. I I was thinking, um, I don't even know. Stamp letter print. I oh. thought you were saying a sentence. That I just card. wasn't understanding. Card. card, small, gift, package, box, um, 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 cardboard. I use the hints most of the time. If we use the hint, I think it's going to basically give it to us. Uh -huh. I mean, it'll give us number two. It halves what it's ever here. Mm. I don't know if it'll give us two or three, but... Probably two. I want to get it. Mm -hmm. We're so close. I think so. We did paper? Yeah, Cardstock? Printer. I mean, the feel is definitely scrapbooky, like you're sending some sort of scrapbooking present. Did you, you did glue. I did glue and I also did adhesive. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because it's number 22. Mm -hmm. That's not my word. Elmer's. Hmm. Inkwell? I don't think it's these like compound words. Help! Help! Every time I say help, I think of the little girl that ate the wasabi. Mm -hmm. Wasabi? Help! It's so cute. I can't even replicate it. 
What do you guys think? We're so close. I'm quicker to give up on a crossword than I am on Contexto. Game? Hmm. I was not sure. It's interesting. Receiving? <laughs> Shipping and receiving? I don't know. Send? Mm -hmm. Oh. They're lower. Gift is 50. Gift paint, alphabet, color, collage, post it, scrapbook, piece of card, print, letter, stamp. Mm. Birthday? Weird. Celebrate? Celebration? Would it put... I don't know if that makes sense. There's a mic stand right here. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to use it? Yeah. My for me. Yes, my hands fallen asleep. Watch the coffee. Tat squeeze, tat squeeze. Okay, we can do this. Yeah, I think so. Print letter stamp. There's like no place for it here. There you go. Look at you. Look at you. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Stressed out, David. Okay, what? Help, help. You guys must be thinking something. Mm hmm. Lick? I don't know. You probably already did lick. <laughs> Here we go. Inside the mind of David. Bored. Bow? Like that? Mm hmm. Oh, I see, like on a gift. Mm hmm. Ribbon? I know, I just keep thinking like paper. We did scrap already, right? Yeah, let's get scrapbooking. That's how we got that. I sent you flowers for your anniversary. I forget the rest of the words. Do you want to sing us that song? Poked a hole in your Gatorade bottle, smoked a bowl. So I, when you got home, you should have known that I was stoned. <laughs> He's got bars. Stamp. It's funny that stamp. Do you want to do one hint? <gasps> no? I don't know. Okay. I just feel like we're so close. I mean, we are. We're miles away still. Do you have ideas? I mean, I don't mind. We can keep going. I don't know. Emily. Just, just <laughs> Emily. Just more words. <laughs> like, like white. What is paper? Paper's like made of trees. Tree. Wood, um, paper mache, mache. How do you spell that with an e? Like that. Matchy. Mm -hmm. Huh. With a, a e with a. You like sprinkle on some, sprinkle on some glue. Crafts are fun. <laughs> See, I feel like gift is close, but if gift is fifty. But that's mm -hmm. kind of how I'm thinking about it. Like stamp, letter, print, card. Um, like mail, you know. What about like pen pal postcard? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm That's a good one. Pen pal. 
think that's two words. Okay. Let me know. Let me know. Yeah, postcard's interesting because, like, I would think mail would be higher than it is, you mm -hmm. know? But mail's like, where? And we did mailbox. Package. That's so funny. Oh, wow. 1095. Oh, I must be thinking wrong then. Why? How are you thinking? Mail. I'm thinking, like, exclusively mail. Like package, postcard. Send. I think we did send. Emily, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> this isn't time you guys get to yourself. <laughs> interesting um resume i know cover letter <laughs> hmm book i don't know that doesn't seem right punctuation address hmm. i thought that was going somewhere mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh you're out of guesses <laughs> Resigned. <laughs> she buzzed out. Okay. Let's see. Sticker. Bumper. Sticker. Calligraphy. I know. I thought cursive. Mm. Too easy. Sticker. That makes sense with the adhesive and the glue. Mm hmm. And the stamp, even. It's a sticker. That's crazy. That was a good one. Decal. Decal. Mm hmm. Label. Bumper label. Wow. Mm -hmm. Got it. Oh, that was not an easy one. That was not easy at all. Okay. You think we're done? Sure. Or do you want to do more? I don't care. Um, I don't know. What do you guys want to do? Do you want to play another game? Or do you want to go into members? I was thinking we could go over to members. I have some things I'd like to talk about. Okay. Yeah, we'll uh, transition on over. And uh, let me go back here. I'll leave this on. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. We'll go to members. They can't see this. They can't? No. Do you want them to? No. We'll go create article. Is there set up here. top secret private? It's when you really find out if David has pants on or not. That's true. <laughs> Top it's secret. One of the things that will happen. Um, I think it's Command Shift F4. Screenshot. Maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Let me do a regular screenshot, I guess. <laughs> That's my screenshot face, guys. So annoying. There we go. Hold on, I'll come this way so it's balanced. <laughs> I should just wave. Emil um, says belt and gun. No pants. <laughs> no pants. <laughs> that <laughs> oh, would like be. Like describing how I'm going to look over there. Ridiculous. <laughs> I think that's probably right. I think that's probably right. We'd have you do a spin for us. Yeah, I'll have to put my gun back on. <laughs> just for you guys. That would be the craziest. There we are. Open. Now let's, yeah, I have uh, some stuff I want to talk more in depth about because I think it's kind of interesting. Okay. Well, let's head out from here for now. Okay. And um, go over to uh, Mighty Networks and we'll drop a link in 45 seconds. <laughs> Bye. Bye.